ever wondered what this box is in your front yard, in your neighborhood, wherever it may be? But this box, it always just kind of exists. Now, what exactly is it and what does it do? Sometimes it's by the power lines. Sometimes it's just there by no power lines. And believe it or not, this is a very essential piece of equipment and the reason why you have power in your house. Now, what is it and what does it do? Let's hop into it. What exactly is that green, gray, brown box out in the front of your house making a buzzing noise or humming? You may be wondering, why is this box humming? Maybe it's because it doesn't know the words of the song. So anyways, my name's Austin. I'm a journeyman lineman. I've been a lineman for roughly three and a half years. I've been in a lineman trade for seven, eight years. And this is a key component in the electrical infrastructure in the lineman world. It's actually one of the most important components inside the electrical infrastructure. And the reason why is because it steps down a 500,000 volt power line to a usable 120, 240 volt that powers your house or your building. This box is the reason why you're able to turn your lights on, why your AC runs, why you're able to use the oven or why anything you plug into your house or you use that's electronical is because of this box. And now this box is exactly what it sounds like. This box is called a transformer. Now this one specifically, it's called a pad mount transformer. Now when we talk about transformers, there's a variety of different kinds of transformers. This transformer right here is an overhead transformer that is the same exact thing as this one right here. Now, these are both transformers and the reason these transformers, what they do is exactly as they sound, they step down voltage that is high, let's say for instance, 7,200 volts, they'll step that voltage down to a usable 120 volts for your home. This video more so is just kind of give you the bare basics of exactly why this transformer, why this box that's humming in the front of your house is so important to all of our daily lives. And as I was saying, this is just one sort of transformer. There's many different transformers out there. You'll have substation transformers, which take voltage from 500,000 volts or 230,000 volts down to a distribution level of 7200 or 12470. Those are not usable for the homes we live in, but it all is a process of stepping down voltage and that's exactly what transformers do. Transformers also can step voltages up. The transformer transforms voltage either up or down, all depending on the application which the transformer is used for. Transformers are used throughout an electrical system, first to raise voltage for a transmissible electrical system, then to reduce voltage to a manageable level in our local residential distributional areas. Essentially, what you have to understand, what all you need to know is that a transformer is the link between a different voltage electrical systems. Transformers are the most common and most important piece of equipment that is installed and maintained in the lineman trade. And as you know, as you see, anywhere you drive, you're gonna see these boxes, whether they're small or big, or up on a power pole, anywhere you go, there's transformers because without the transformers, you frankly just can't have power at your house because there's no way you're gonna be able to take 12,000 volts straight to your panel. That's not gonna happen. So therefore, we need a transformer in the system to step down that voltage to a usable voltage in your house. I wanna go into, kind of show you the bare basics of how this transformer kind of works. I'm not gonna get into exactly the electrical theory and the transformer theory behind it and how exactly a transformer works because frankly, that's FM. And you might be wondering what's FM? Magic. So let's hop into what this transformer looks like on the inside and then kind of how it works in your favor. So you have power, AC in your house so you can play video games, watch TV, cook dinner and enjoy an awesome life. All right, so here we have a pad mount underground distribution transformer. Now, when we look at this transformer, we'll see a few different things here. We zoom in on here. 
Over here on the left side, we are going to have what we call the primary cable. And now the primary cable is responsible for carrying the high voltage power, high voltage, you know, UC overhead, the overhead power lines. These cables on the left hand side are responsible for carrying the 7200 volts, the 12,470 volts, or whatever the distribution system voltage is. And anywhere you go in the country, it's different. If Y, it's Delta, we're not getting to get so much of that. But the common is 12470, 7200, phase to phase, phase to ground. Now, these cables on the left hand side are responsible. Now, this is also a single phase transformer, which means it just takes one phase to come in to power this transformer in order for this transformer to operate properly so you can get secondary voltages to feed the power at your house. Now, on the left side, this cable is terminated by what we call an elbow, which is just an elbow is a termination to put basically on the end of the wire. Inside these elbows, there's a probe and the probe sticks into the transformer bushing, which ultimately provides the power to the transformer so the transformer can work. So not to get into too, too deep concept here, essentially this comes in from a feed or a source, this cable feeds this cable, and this cable goes out to another transformer down the line, or it goes to a primary riser that goes up a pole that is fed from an overhead power line, whatever. There's many different ways where this cable could go. So essentially it comes in, feeds the transformer, basically passes through, to this other cable and then this cable is going to go underground feed a different transformer or something else down the line now inside this transformer you're going to have a couple little tiny coils inside here where you're going to have coils where these primary basically feeds these coils right here i'm just drawing a squiggly line to give you a representation and then from there the coils are feeding the secondary coils through a magnetic field, or you can just use FM. <laughs> Most people can just not understand this because it can get very confusing. So essentially, these cables feed one coil and because of electric magnetic field, feeds the secondary coils. Now, the secondary coils are what are responsible for putting running power to your house. Now, once it does its magic over here and through the back of the transformer and comes to the secondary coils, these are your secondary coils here. So you'll have a neutral and then you'll have a power and a power. So between the power and power, you're going to have 240 volts. Between the power neutrals, you're going to have 120 volts, can't really see that. So between the neutral and the power legs, you're gonna have 120, which 120 is very common voltage you use in your house to charge your cell phone, to run your TV, to run your microwave, to run small appliances. And then your 240 is responsible for what your washer and dryer uses, your oven, your dishwasher, your bigger appliances. Those sorts of things are ran off 240 volts. So the transformer, is responsible for turning this 7200 volts into a 120 240 volts that you can use in your house. These cables here you see coming out of these secondary blocks or bushings right here. These are going to run to your house. So this service goes to your house and then all the other services in there. So that's three wires essentially. And those three wires go to a house and feeds the house to your electrical panel on the outside of your house. And then that's why you have a meter out there that your utility electric provider has a, has a meter so they can see how much power you're using per month. And that's why you get a power bill. So power comes in, goes through, does its magic in the back of the transformer, steps the high voltage down to a usable voltage that you need for your house. And then over here on the right side, you'll have your 
secondary coils and bushings and those are responsible for providing the 120 240 volts and those wires plugged into there will go to your house and therefore you have 120 240 volts to run power throughout your house and that's how a transformer works and that's why transformer is important you may never need to know this information you may never need a not to know this information either way it's good to know i mean there's a reason why you have the comforts of your home and a transformer is one of the most important pieces of equipment the reason why so this information may or may not be applicable to you if you're kind of someone who just likes learning why things how things operate and why there are just random objects out on the roadway or why that piece of equipment is so important for the reason we live such a comfortable and nice life that's a transformer and a transformer is a very important piece of equipment in the electrical infrastructure if you're someone who is wanting to get into the lineman trade or electrical infrastructure trade of some sorts now you have a better idea of what that box is or what that sphere looking thing up on a pole is for and what its purpose and how it kind of works if you're wanting to get into the lineman trade the link down in the description there's free learning there go on the website www.bluecolleredu.com go on the careers tab you can check out the lineman trade to learn a lot more there and there's also a lot more other careers on there if you want to check those out and get some other more free learning you may be wondering what trade is for me you want to get to a skilled trade career but you're not sure what career to go for you can take the free skilled trade quiz on the website on the home page a few questions it'll spit you out an answer give you a direction of maybe a place you want to go or a trade you want to pursue and get a career in if you're someone looking for a career change or looking for a career to pursue with that being said hopefully you can learn from this video what a transformer is and what that big box out in the front yard or what that does and how it kind of works sort of kind of like i said i didn't want to get too many details about how exactly the electromagnetic field works and how transformers work with the coils and the bushings and all that kind of stuff but that's what a transformer is that's why a transformer is important and that's how a transformer works so you have the power in your house to live a nice comfortable life with blue collar edu i'm here to expose teach and educate you about blue collar career opportunities and things that help you getting started in skilled trade and with that being said, I'll catch you on the next one.